So question one, the first one in paper two of the old hires, 2015 paper. It's a lines question. What's that all together? There's nine marks. That's quite a good start to get then. All the information there, there's this triangle that's got this dotted line drawn in, and it says that represents an altitude, so that's at right angles then. And the first part says, show that the equation of that altitude is given by this. It's given by x minus 3y equals 4. That means you have to end up with it in that form, not some other form of your fancy. Well, what do we want? The equation of a line. So that'll be y minus b equals mx minus a. I need its gradient and I need a point on it. Well, I've got a point on it, so I just need its gradient. I can't get its gradient from another point on it, so you get it by reference to the line AB because it's perpendicular. So what's the gradient of the line AB? That'll be the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. You can write Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. Going from, so it's from A to B, so I'll go from Negative 5, take away 7, over negative 1, take away the negative 5. Or you could do the other way around as long as you're consistent. 7, take away negative 5, negative 5, take away negative 1. So that's negative 12 over, but that will be negative 1 plus 5, which is 4. So the gradient of AB is negative 3. That looks like that. It's fairly steep down. That means that straight away I can say that that means the perpendicular one will be, you could just state it as a third. Or you can say the negative of the reciprocal, whichever way. That means I can feed it into the line now. So what is that equation? I've got y minus the y coordinate, which is 3, is a third of x minus the x coordinate, which is a 13. Take the 3 across and multiply. 3y minus 9 leaves you with just one of them. And then you want it in this form. Well, it's not much really you can do, because if you take that across, it's just going to turn into that. So x minus 3y, reading it backwards, 13 minus the 9 is 4, and there you are. And you know you're going to use it again, so I'll call that equation 1. Now b, find the equation of the median, so it's going to the middle, where from? b, the median from b. So that's from B across to the middle. That's not very middle-ish. Important thing is it cuts it in half so that it's somewhere about here. But quite often for your diagram you get an indication of what the coordinates might be because the last part's asking for this turning, uh, sorry, this intersection. My diagram's not as good as that one. Still, anyway, how can you get the equation of that line? Well, I need its gradient. I'll get its gradient from the two points because I can work out the middle. What's the middle of this one? Sometimes it's obvious like there. 3 to 7, 5's bang in the middle. Negative 5 to 13, if you're not too sure, just add them and half it. What's halfway between negative 5 and 13? Add them and half it. Since I've done it for that, I'll do it for this. What's halfway between 7 and 3? Add them and half it. So the midpoint's going to be 8 over 2 is 4, and 10 over 2 is 5, as you knew anyway. Next. I need the gradient. So what's the gradient of AB? That'll be the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. So that I've got it, maybe this time I'll just set it out, AB. Don't know why I called it AB. It's the gradient of BM. So B's at negative one, negative five, and it's going to M, which is at four, five. It's always handy to set out like that. So the difference in the Y's, Y2 minus Y1. Five take away negative five. Or you could be brave and jump in with 5 plus 5. 4 take away negative 1 for the x's. Or I'll jump in with 4 plus 1. That's 10 over 5, which is 2. The gradient of BM is 2. Now you can get the equation just by feeding it in. y minus b equals mx minus a. Pick a point. When you're using this, negatives are actually quite nice because they get subtracted away. So y minus minus 5 is y plus 5, is the gradient 2 times x minus minus 1, which is plus 1. So I've got y equals 2x plus 2, but minus 5 is minus 3. I'm presuming you could just leave it like that if you wanted, but you know you're going to use it later, so put it into a usable form. Yeah, that's perfect for a substitution. And part C does say that. Where's the point of intersection with 
this altitude and this median. In other words, this point, I'll just call it N. How will we get that point of intersection? Substitute. Substitute 1 in, oh, I've called them both 1. Substitute 2 in 1. Or maybe you had that in a different form and you're going to be using elimination because you put that in the form of x10, y10 equals number. I just like substitutions. So, 1 reads x minus 3y, but y is 2x minus 3. That should equal 4. Substituting 2 and 1, where 1 says y, I replace it with what y says it wants to be equal to, 2x minus 3. So that's x minus 6x, but minus minus is plus 9 is 4. And then you can see that you should pop them over to opposite sides, but I'll just leave them. x take away 6x is minus 5x. 4 take away 9 is minus 5, so x equals 1. Almost there. To find y, just put 1 back into, this is a better form here for working out y, and you'll have y equals 2 times, and it's a 1 that's going in, minus a 3, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. It says what's the coordinates, you could argue, I've stated them, but I'd just like to finish it off. Intersection is 1, negative 1. Can't really complain about that question.